darlings, it's Mummy Sybil Brunson, and I'm I'm in the uh, M Minneapolis Institute of Art, and I wanted to show you one more thing before I leave. I mean, there's so many different Tourettes I could give you. Um, this is one of the beautiful galleries. This is all uh, 18th century and earlier, actually, uh, paintings, um, and uh, juxtaposed with contemporary furniture. Uh, each of these galleries goes off in different directions, and it takes you into different things, American painting that way. Uh, you see religious paintings here. Look at the architecture, though, the beautiful architecture of this museum. And then Mummy's going to try and take you over, but I get terrible vertigo, as you know. But here's open wells, too. There's the fountain that I just showed you a little while ago. And here's open wells, which allow light and air to move through the galleries. I want to show you a couple of things. Here also is another balcony. Um, and look at the ceiling, just spectacular. And of course, there's the Pillsbury uh, Auditorium below, which I was down there. And then look. On the opposite side, there's another gallery and, um, you know, more sculpture uh, and the contemporary paintings juxtaposing everything. It's it, in every direction. There's something delightful to look at. But I want to show you one <laughs> very startling thing. Um, over here, we have a enormous Rococo uh, gilt and marble and Pietra Dura table. Look at this inlay and the mirror with gilding on it and everything. These are all things from like the uh, 1665, uh, 1700s. This mirror is from 1700. But look how the museum takes an object. Uh, this is by the Campana brothers of Brazil, and they've taken a contemporary piece of artwork and put it on <laughs> this wonderful table and mirror. Uh, this is what's surrounding it. And then you look at this and you go, well, wait a minute, those candles look very strange. And sure enough, the candle is actually Carrera marble, and the candlestick is um, found objects which have been constructed and gilded into a candlestick, which is a nod to the Rococo period. This was done just recently, like in 2011, by the Campana brothers, but they're known for their um, found object art and uh, crafts. So <laughs> it's this museum is quite surprising in that it combines, at every turn, you'll find a piece of contemporary art sitting with artwork that is um, from the past. And it's a little bit like the Barnes Collection, um, which Mummy took you to in Philadelphia, where uh, Barnes simply, uh, he wasn't concerned about the, the timeline of art objects. He simply combined art objects with each other from different periods and different sources and different nations and even uh, tools and uh, and found objects and uh, and appliances and he simply combined them because of their aesthetic appeal to each other and and how they referenced each other so he's more concerned with texture and with shape and uh, with than he was with context so anyway uh, I just wanted to show you this because I think this is is quite extraordinary. This is an amazing piece of art to be found on a table, uh, two pieces of furniture from the 1700s, late 1600s and 1700s. Uh, do come to the Institute of Art uh, here in Minneapolis. If you manage a trip to Minneapolis, be sure to come here and see this wonderful, wonderful museum. All right? I simply adore that. I wish I'd brought a bigger handbag. Don't tell the nice guard, though. Oh, I wish I'd brought my handbag.